Hey guys, of course it is good to see you all again today. Today is uh, Sunday, September the 5th, 2010. Guys, I really don't know what day it is. Let's see what day is it. Uh, 2.48, I think. If not, that's close enough. I'll fix it when I put the video up. I think it's two, day 248 on our Project Jesus 365. Again, as always, it's it's good to have you guys here. You know, uh, you know, sometimes I forget. You know, it, it's easy to to be honest about it, guys. You know, sometimes I I make these vids, and you know, I have. You know, I can count on the same uh, five or six people commenting every day. And, I mean, I love you guys for doing that. I mean, the guys that do it, you know, you know who you are. Uh, you know, you've got Waro and the Moon Chick and uh, his Cosmos and uh, Jink Jack and uh, Chris V most of the time. Uh, I don't know. And I, I normally don't like naming names like that because as sure as I name them, I'll forget somebody where I'm on the spot. Um, uh, anyway, just you know, you guys, you know who I are. If I missed you, Mad Bad Voodoo, you know he he's kind of sporadic here lately, but he watches a lot. Uh, looking for me marbles, you know. Uh, he was he was watching a lot. I think here lately he's kind of uh, slacked down a little bit, but but anyway, that's what I was trying to say, guys. I just said watching. See, I kind of, sometimes I kind of forget that, you know, even though I'm maybe getting five comments per video on my Bible reading videos or six or whatever, you know, I'm forgetting that I'm getting maybe, you know, in, in one day, let's say I'm getting five comments or six, but maybe I'll get 25 or 30 views. So I tend to forget that sometimes. I think a lot of, a, a lot of us that make videos on YouTube do forget that. You know, um, or like I said, maybe not. Maybe it's just me. But you know, I tend to think, well, you know, I have five. Com I'm getting five comments on all these vids. You know, I've got five people watching. You know, that's not necessarily, the, you know, the truth. Like I said, you know, I can go look and it's 25 views or 22 or 30 or 35. Some of them's 40. Uh, you know, so I forget sometimes that I've got people watching that you know maybe just maybe. Excuse me, guys. People that don't have accounts, people that don't have channels, people that are just you know, uh, not you know, not people that don't have a channel, uh, so they don't comment or whatever. Or you know, a lot of people are just don't feel the need to comment or or they're shy or whatever. Uh, so you know, I just forget that sometimes. And a lot of times, I talk to you guys just like I'm talking to these five or six different people because I'm so used to talking to them all the time. I'm so used to every day, you know, responding to them, commenting, messaging back and forth. Um, and I'll be honest, guys, I, I'm I'm, I'm kind of glad that the Lord brought that to my attention. Because to be honest about it, you know, I was I was kind of getting a little bit aggravated, you know, that it wasn't, um, you know, that it really wasn't growing. You know, I was hoping to by this time in the project to have, uh, you know, 100 views or 200 views, you know, and and have 20 people commenting per video, you know, and um, so you know sometimes it's good. Sometimes when we when we get our focus a little bit sideways, it's good that the Lord brings us back and lets us know, you know. For number one, He let me know on this, you know, that hey, you know, you you've got a lot more people watching than you do commenting. So you know, just you know, uh, keep putting it out there. You're trying. You're doing what I want you to do. You know, you're you're planting that seed, so, um, so I just thank you guys that do comment. I thank you guys that watch that don't comment. I really do. Uh, like I said, like I've said before, uh, I would like for you to come in every now and then. You know, you don't have to comment on every video, but every now and then, which a lot of you do. You know, I do see a lot of you maybe one every ten videos or once. You know, you'll comment. Uh, just come in, you know, stick your head in every now and then and say hi, you know, let me know that you watch my stuff, uh, you know, that kind of deal. It just, it encourages me, you know, it helps keep me going. <sighs> but anyway, guys, and I mean, don't take this to, you know, I'm not 
down or you know wanting to quit or nothing. I just you know, I just kind of got thinking about that. Um, so uh, what I was trying just basically trying to say, guys, I appreciate you guys. I really do. I know I've took a long time here to say that, but basically I do appreciate you guys that watch, and I appreciate you guys that make comments more. Uh, you know, I mean that's just a fact. You know, I appreciate you guys that, that take your time to to correspond back and forth and. Uh, you know, because if you don't comment, it's kind of a one-way relationship. You know, you're listening to me, you see what I'm saying, but, you know, I don't get any feedback from you. So I, I like you guys that comment, especially the guys that comment every day, or at least a lot. So anyway, guys, I guess I'll quit the rambling there. Uh, let's get on to the important part, and that's Acts chapter 7, verse 21. Now, guys... I'm not ever going to say that there's any part of God's Word that that's not important or that we can't get something from. I'm just going to say this little part that we're going through right now is a little bit dry. I'll put it that way. It's a little bit dry. Uh, you know, I'm sure there there's a reason why this is in here, but, you know, it's basically just like I said, I've been saying the last day or so. It's basically just when the, when the, when the Sanhedrin brought uh, Stephen upon these charges that he was basically betraying Israel and, and you know, betraying uh, the Levitical law and all these things. And he's basically just going back and rehashing and kind of telling a story of the Jewish people, you know, telling kind of their history story. Don't know why he's doing it, you know, just doing it to, to you know, maybe show them that he knows and cares about it. So that's what we're going through right now in Acts chapter seven. So, uh, you know, when we get on, when we get through this, you know, it kind of, uh, kind of speeds up a little bit, picks up the pace a little bit. I'll put it that way. So anyway, in Acts chapter seven, verse twenty-one, here we go. And when he was cast out, Pharaoh's daughter took him up and nourished him for her own son. He's talking about Moses here. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians, and he was mighty in words and in deeds. And when he was a full forty years old, it came into his heart to visit his brethren, the children of Israel. And seeing one of them suffer wrong, he defended him, and avenged him that was oppressed, and smote the Egyptian. For he supposed his brethren would never have understood how that God by his hand would deliver them, but they understood not. And the next day he showed himself unto them as, a, as they strove, and would have set them at one again, saying, Sires, ye are brethren. Why do ye do? Why do ye wrong one another, one to another? Excuse me. But he that did his neighbor wrong thrust him away, saying, Who made thee a ruler and a judge over us? Basically, Moses was trying to tell them, teach them better, and they wouldn't listen. Wilt thou kill me as thou didst the Egyptian yesterday? Moses was trying to tell one of them something and, and he said well what are you going to do kill me if i don't listen to you you know that's what we'd like to do sometimes we'd like to strangle the life out of somebody that won't listen to us but <laughs> we can't do it then fled moses at this saying and was a stranger in the land of madian where he begat two sons so once moses figured out that other people knew i guess he killed this egyptian he fled and when 40 years were expired there appeared to him in the wilderness of mount sinai an angel of the Lord, and a flame of fire in a bush. Guys, I've spent way too much time just, uh, well, I don't, I don't know what kind of word I want to say, uh, jibber-jabbering. I've spent so much time jibber-jabbering this evening, uh, I'm going to stop there, which had, I, I think it was 10 verses, so, anyway, guys, good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night, uh, pray for me, guys, as usual, I'm praying for you guys. Uh, I may be going shooting tomorrow with some friends, so pray for me, you know, pray for us there, you know, um, usually when I go shooting, it's with one of my best friends, and then, you know, my best friend that, uh, owns, or, you know, he's one of my best friends, you know, I've got two or three best friends that, that owns a gun store, and, you know, real, real, you know, long-time shooters, competent shooters that I don't have to worry about, and this group tomorrow, I don't know, you know, I've never been with them before, you know, and uh, so, 
you never know when something's going to happen, guys. So I'm just saying pray for me. Pray for us. Pray for all of us that, you know, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to go yet or not. They're going a little bit earlier than I like to go. You know, I, I like going up in the evening. They're going like at 12 o'clock tomorrow. So um, I may go and I may not. But anyway, guys, pray for me. I love you guys. Good Lord willing, see you tomorrow. So good night and God bless.